I very much am slightly in love with Angelina Jolie. I'm not so in love with action films. I do like thrillers though, and Salt is marketed as an action thriller, so this really could have gone either way for me. This was released in 2010, directed by Philip Noyce and written by Kurt Wimmer, or Wimmer, starring of course Angelina Jolie. Andre Brower is also on this, in this, which uh, is just something extra that I particularly enjoyed. So the film itself is about a CIA agent who goes on the run. Um, she's being accused of being a Russian spy and she has to flee. And as a viewer, there are a lot of things we don't know the answers to. We don't know exactly why she's on the run. We're not sure where she's going to end up. Obviously, we don't know how it's going to conclude. And that aspect of the narrative I found quite interesting because one of the things with action films, of course, is that you don't know where the action's going. It's fast-paced, it's constant, and you know, as soon as you get to grips with one, one location or one encounter, you're moving on to the next one. It's very quick, and I enjoy that aspect of it because it's very much keeping, keeping you on your toes. It's an hour and 40 minutes, which is a reasonable length, and it goes by pretty quickly. I found that the narrative developed really well. I have no issue with the pacing of it. I have no issue with the characters. Uh, I, I quite like Devlin Salt, actually. I really like Salt as a character. I think she's... Uh, quite feisty and powerful and, and somebody I'd you know, quite like to have a conversation with. I think she's really fascinating. Angelina Jolie is obviously great in this role. But for me, there's nothing in this that makes this amazing. In terms of action films that I've seen, certainly it's high up there as being one of the better. But again, I haven't seen that many because it's not my favourite genre. The thriller aspect, I didn't really... You know, I don't think this is a thriller. I mean, it might be in the most basic sense, but for me, I, I love action, uh, sorry, psychological thrillers, action-based thrillers, not really my kind of thing, and I didn't really find this thrilling. Fascinating, yes. Unpredictable, certainly. Well-developed, definitely. But thrilling, not so much. I think the makeup is actually p pretty great in this. Costumes, uh, particularly salts, I, I enjoyed. Uh, we have a really good variety of set design, set locations. It actually got an Oscar nomination, which I wasn't aware until about 10 minutes ago, um, for Best Achievement in Sound Mixing. Now, off the top of my head, I can't hear the sounds, but I remember, well, I don't remember it being jarring or, you know, and a lot of action films are very loud and very in-your-face with the sound. And I think that's maybe one of the reasons why I don't like them as much, because I have... You know, a lot of noise-based anxieties. Um, so for me, this one, it certainly didn't jar and, you know, assault my ears or anything. So for that reason, credit where credit is due, absolutely. 6.4 out of 10 average rating on IMDb, which is pretty respectable. For me, I would have given it maybe a 6. It's not a bad film. I enjoyed watching it. I can't imagine I'd ever watch it again. But maybe if it was on TV or something, my love of Angelina Jolie would be in enough for me to switch it on. If the protagonist was an actress I hadn't heard of and after watching it didn't really fall in love with, then yeah, I feel like watching it once would be enough. Certainly I recommend it if it sounds like your kind of film. I really enjoyed it. And that's coming from somebody who isn't really an action fan. So give it a go. I hope you like it. It's definitely not a bad film.